Hey, uh, it's Spiritual Life Coach 43, and I'm here to give you the mid-month of November, your 2023 reading for the zodiac sign of Capricorn. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome and blessings. If you are a returning viewer, watcher, and or subscriber, I'm sending you guys so much love, luck, joy, and happiness, all that good stuff. Welcome, welcome back. Capricorns, you guys rock. You're awesome. I do appreciate you guys. If you are a cross watcher, I'm sending you prayers, healing, and blessings to you and to all of us here. Please remember that when it comes to tarot, oracle, pendulum, coffee cup, intuitive, any, and all kinds of readings, that it is important that you guys focus on the messages and the energy that you guys are receiving. Never ever force a reading what's for you will be for you, as you already know. What is not, please forward it to somebody else. You guys can um, send it to other people that may resonate with it, share it with other people. I do appreciate that. Or just enjoy the reading, enjoy the energy. Because I enjoy all of you guys. Everybody's welcome here. This is an all-inclusive channel. Always, first and foremost, go to our Heavenly Father God, Jesus Christ, your beautiful angels, your awesome and amazing and spiritual teams and family. They got you. They're with you. You guys have wonderful relatives, people who paved the way, your ancestors. You guys have incredible earth angels and spiritual angels to turn to. Turn to your spiritual teams. They got you. Keep God first at all times. Believe in him. Know him. Honor him. Definitely believe in yourselves and listen to your intuition. It will serve as a beautiful guide for you, okay, for your life. It's like your navigation. Please continue to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Thank you guys so much for showing support to my channel. You guys are awesome. I do appreciate all of you. The services that I offer is listed in the description box below. Just click more. And also um, any like programs, um, scholarships, grant information, it's listed there. If they don't have it in your city or area, please research that to see if there's something similar or like that in your area or city, state, vicinity, so that you guys can be blessed. Get in where you fit in. Receive these blessings. There's a lot of good help, good offers, wonderful things that is really free out there. So please take advantage of those things. Okay. Enjoy. Let yourself uh, receive goodness. You deserve that. Okay, you guys, this is the mid-month karma reading. It does get deep. Please feel free to click off if the subject matter is too sensitive, okay? Do what's best for your mental health. But you guys know I do this for healing. I do it for preparation. People get a lot of healing when they can get the confirmation, know what's going on, you know, just kind of be able to resonate with the reading based on life experiences and what they're feeling and sensing. So take it how it resonates as you choose. Leave anything else that does not resonate behind, okay? I just want to jump in by start by saying, Happy Thanksgiving in advance for those who celebrate Big Turkey Day and just eating so much good food and lots of laughter and watching movies and playing board games. However you guys celebrate with your family. Some people have like cook-offs. Some people have barbecues and tacos. It's whatever you like. So um, I've, I've heard of like turkey tacos, turkey enchiladas, and just different types of dishes um, culture-wise, you know. So do whatever is festive. And what's fun, make some good memories and enjoy. And it don't have to be a holiday for those who don't celebrate. You guys can just pick a day, any day, to just go to the park and have a barbecue with your family or just enjoy, you know, good food. They sell a lot of turkeys this time of year. So, you know, or you can wait to after the holiday where sometimes you might get find a discount on like turkeys and stuff like that if you eat that. So whatever you do, just enjoy and be safe, of course, and have an awesome time. All right, make some good memories. Life is precious. It really is a gift. All right. Um, yes, like I already said, click off if um, the subject matter is too sensitive for everybody who decided to press on. Let's jump into the reading. So for those who have betrayed you, the overall energy is tenfold. Somebody is reaping what they have sown. They Every time they turn around, that bad karma is stacked up back to back to back. They can't run from it. They can't hide from it. They wish they could. But those days are over. God has removed these masks. I've been saying this for a long time. And people are really seeing it. People are understanding these narcissists better. They're understanding how to make moves. They're understanding how to deal with them or to not deal with them at all, if you know, possible, based on your situation and circumstance. And if you guys have um, connections with them, like family and stuff, you know, you have to deal with them. You have to see them sometimes. But people are learning to keep it short and simple, being different, keep them out your business. Don't, you know, engage in the drama, nonsense, stay away from all of that. These people have enough going on. Their karma is severe, it's heavy. They keep getting hit with, misery, bad news, some of them can't sleep, um, 
their eating habits are poor, their health is declining, things are fading, people are leaving, they're losing big time for what they did to you. It's all coming back. You guys may have felt like a strong soul tie to them. It could have been soulmate, twin flame energy, or just soul tie where you felt spiritually connected, okay? You felt like there were some things you guys were supposed to learn from each other and do together. It feels like to me these people chose a toxic soul tie over a healthy soul tie. You guys wanted things to be, I'm hearing complete. You wanted things to be finished. You wanted things to get better, um, but they chose to stay stuck in toxic energy. They chose to stay with people who allowed them to roam free in evil, negativity, self-hate, when you guys were going towards the path of cleansing, purging, healing, self-love, this person is stuck. They don't they don't have any growth in their life. And people see that because they see you flourishing and growing and prospering and they're still stuck in the past. They may have wanted more kids with you, but you guys are giving them an access denied. You're saying no more children. So some of you guys do have kids with them. You don't want any more. There was a time some of you guys did want to expand on your family, but you don't feel like this person gives you or the kids that you may already have or kid the type of love that you feel you deserve. If it's just you, then you feel like it wasn't enough. You don't see this as a good mother or a good fatherly figure because this person's not wholesome. They they dibble and dabble in a little bit of good being with you, and then they run right back to the devil. They run back to their demons and addictions. They're not willing to break it. So you guys are saying, no, no more access denied. Some of you guys were in a relationship and got your tubes tied or um, vasectomies or just, it was just a no. It was a flat out no. You don't want anything else to do with them. Some of you guys walked away. I'm saying a divorce too and just um, leaving these people behind because that's how you feel like they left you behind, but you guys left for your peace and sanity. They left to go be more toxic, which is really sad. Um, People know that you guys can take a lie detector test and pass. They know that you guys are the truth. You know, at the time, a lot of people may not have um, believed you because, like I said, these narcissists are pathological liars, they're habitual liars, and they're excellent at it because they're so used to lying about everything. But you guys can pass. It tells me you guys are very honest. They chose somebody who allowed them to do any and everything sexually, things you feel were immoral, things you feel like um, were outside of your boundaries or disrespecting your your boundaries and your moral ethic code you're all about having fun you guys are beautiful gorgeous sexy you guys are amazing and good lovers good romantic partners you gave plenty of affection and time and energy and kisses and warmth you embraced them lovingly okay but it was never enough because they were willing to go back to that dark side and any and everything goes, you feel like there should be structure and boundaries. This person don't like boundaries. They don't like structure. They don't like feeling like they have to follow any type of rules. And we all know everything can't go. Think of little kids. If they are in school or, you know, if, if they break rules, they need consequences so that things flow in a healthy environment. This person was not healthy. You know, it's just like if you guys you know, see somebody who's allergic to something. Let's say if somebody, you know, is allergic to um, pears, you know, God forbid, we don't wish any bad on anybody, but if somebody's allergic to pears and they go to a buffet and they still go eat these pears, knowing that it's going to make them sick, they still go eat it. They're like, I'm going to eat that and this too. I don't care if it makes me sick. This is what this person represented. And at this point, you guys feel like, well, it's just too bad. You know, this is your energy. You guys are like over it. You're like, oh, well, whatever they're doing to make themselves sick, whatever, you know, karma that they're getting tenfold. It's something they accumulated. This is something they earned for hurting you and betraying you so many times. You guys are over it. All right. You feel like they chose a path full of destruction. They got to choose. You guys gave them options. You guys gave them time. You forgave them. Some of them were even forgiven and given second and third or more chances, even after cheating, after hurting you, after you poured out your heart, you told them what the problems were. You know, this person was a poor communicator. They were not willing to elevate and change. They like sin. And I keep saying this in the readings because I noticed that a lot of people have to understand this. And this is not easy for a good hearted empath like yourselves to understand. You guys can be very spiritual. You feel like you guys had a purpose together you taught some lessons, but they were not willing to receive. But the lessons you got out of it, 
you did receive and you guys are running with it. Okay. You guys are carrying the torch like a, like a, um, like a baton. You're not going to drop that baton. You got it. You guys are running and you're running towards your success. You guys will have successful partnerships. This is part of your justice to have a romantic relationship with the honor, the morals, the honesty, the integrity, the loyalty, the love that you want and deserve the reciprocity. Okay. Nothing that's self-destruction. You're trying to build, not fall. You know, this person falls back when you're like stepping up. It's like a pull, you know, pulling in the opposite directions. You know, that's not going to work. You guys learn to read energy. So some of you guys could be, um, clear cosmient, um, really in touch with your, um, clear, clear sentient. I'm hearing this with clear sentient more so than clear cosmic, but some of you guys have both. Um, you guys have come into your spiritual gifts. Some of you guys are tarot card readers, which we love. The more the barrier. Welcome, welcome, welcome. But you guys learn to pay attention to energy. This is something that's not always taught. People are not always taught that, hey, some people just are addicted to sin. They're addicted to toxic love. Your person was. And this could even be a family member. It don't have to be romantic for everybody or somebody you consider a friend or a colleague, co-worker. But uh, for a lot of you, this was romantic. Overall, this was, this was like... Uh, boyfriend girlfriend commitment type of situation or scenario marriage something long term this person was for the streets this was a serial cheater they don't have any sexual discipline at all they will be with any and everybody They'll, they're down for any and everything any and everywhere trashy don't matter classy don't matter they don't care but they love the trashier side the filthy the rat you know the gutter they love that god is blessing you guys with the energy and the elevation to move on to what's new and what's next for you. This is in regards to careers, opportunities, new blessings, new doors are opening. You guys are getting the answers to your questions. You guys are getting the keys to these new doors, new windows, new avenues, and definitely new love is here. Some of you guys have already moved on. Some of you guys are engaged, so uh, congratulations. Some of you guys are moving on. You're healing, and you guys are open to love or you're open to the next opportunity. Some For some of you guys, it will be both. But you're getting what's new. You're getting what's next. And this person will be forced to hear about it. But you're moving forward. You're over it. Especially for those who have healed. You know, for those of you guys who have healed, you see this person that's stuck in, in quicksand and they're falling. They're they're being sucked in, you know, by the devil. They just stay too toxic, too demonic. They wouldn't let it go. It's, it's truly sad because you only wanted what was good and what's best for them. And you wanted what was healthy. Even if you guys started out as a trauma bond or maybe you guys came from dysfunctional homes or some of you guys came from, you know, certain breakups where you guys understood what it, what it felt like to be heartbroken and hurt. You didn't want to go back and backtrack down, you know, that place where you used to be. You wanted to heal the inner child. And that's what you guys have worked on. And this is why new and better things are coming to you. And you know, this person is sinking, they're falling, their ship is, um, is drowning here. Okay. So, you know, for leaving you guys out, some of them maybe even had denied your kids or, you know, denied you, denied you of the love, breadcrumbing, um, hot and cold energy, love, hate relationship in and out, all that nonsense. You're done with that. You want somebody who's honest like you, who's loyal like you, who respects their body and yours. You don't want to have to worry about what diseases this person may have picked up or if you guys should have to use protection if something you felt like you didn't need to do that in a commitment you know, depending on what you feel, you do what's best for you. You guys are adults, but this person is not trustworthy and everybody is seeing this. This is part of their karma too. People are seeing this because they're picking up on energy too. You're saying less in, in making moves. You're doing more in the right direction and things are getting better for you. You're seeing more success. You're seeing more offers. You're being, you're being able to discern these offers better. Okay. They chose the wrong path. And you know this and other people do too. People feel like they're a complete fool for leaving you out, for not sticking it out with you because you gave them the benefit of the doubt. You had hope. You you put your trust and faith that this person would mean what they say and say what they mean. Unfortunately, they didn't live up to that and they didn't really try. This person is very weak to toxicity. They're weak to the devil, weak to interferences. And they're facing tower after tower. I'm hearing like tenfold. So you guys are just letting God and letting go and just moving forward to your happier, healthier, more blessed life. And this is something you truly deserve. But this was a soul tie. So it may have taken some time, you know, to break free of this soulmate or twin flame or this soul tie. Maybe you know this person from childhood and you guys are really close. 
or some of you guys built a strong foundation that you thought could go, you know, the entire way, you know, the whole mile, it would, it would make it. You seen the finish line and you guys got to it, but you had to get to it by cutting loose. You know, this ball and chain, this person was just delaying you and holding you back because they're of the dark, the dark and the light just don't mix. People have to want to heal and want to change and actually go the route of healing and getting the help and receiving the support. This person was very uh, much rejecting everything. They rejected treatment. They rejected you and you were their greatest and biggest blessing. You and your kids, if you guys have kids together, you wanted a true partnership. You guys saw yourself, you saw a business being here, a, a home, the long term, the travel, everything. And you tried your best. You guys, you did your darndest. So pat yourself on the back and walk through the doors of blessings. All you can do is pray for these people and hope that they get it right with God. It's up to them if they do it, but you don't see it. You don't believe it at this point. You don't trust it. And you still hope that they get it right, but you're over it. You're done. You guys have walked out. You, you've cut loose. You're like too bad. You tried. You gave your all and you're over it. And I don't blame you. You guys did your best. So focus on blessings. They're coming in. Okay, Capricorn, this has been your reading for the mid-month of November, your 2023. I hope the messages in this reading resonate with all of you, as many of you as humanly possible. I'm sending you all so much love and luck and harmony and, of course, abundance. Happy Turkey Day once again for those who celebrate. And thank you guys so much for watching. God bless you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, Capricorn.